Hello Indie Game fans! Second video on the Steam Lunar New Year Sale 2020 covers some more hidden gems that you may not have tried, starting with Paws, a Shelter 2 game. Developer Might and Delight created Shelter back in 2013, a game about a mother badger sheltering her cubs, and the sequel follows a lynx instead. However, this is a story of loss and friendship, of solitude and companionship, as you traverse across this beautiful world. I really do love the low poly art style in this, showing that it's not all pixel art with me, but a poignant tale that is worth going through. Death Road to Canada is an action roguelike title about surviving the zombie apocalypse. It's a fairly standard zombie story about being on the road, scavenging for resources, recruiting other survivors and facing gigantic swarms of the living dead. However, it doesn't take itself too seriously, with some odd, strange and humorous situations that you can get yourself in, such as teaching your dog how to drive. Built for replayability, locations, events, survivors and personalities are all procedurally generated, with some nice pixel art to boot. From throughout the galaxy, a monstrous mob of kaiju appear. A secret organization dedicated to monitoring mayhem containing kaiju aggression. The Kaiju Regulatory Commission worked hard to protect the people of Earth, but then... The KRC were betrayed by one of their best and brightest, Dr. Cube! A man turned monster, Cube now creates global chaos with his army of mindless minions and mega monsters. Thankfully, the kaiju heroes are here to protect the people and push back Cube's corruption. All-out war between the well-meaning heroes and Cube's posse did great damage to the Earth. The KRC, under the guidance of a secretive kaiju commissioner, hatched their greatest plan yet. To contain the violence to the ring, and so the Intergalactic Wrestling League Kaiju Big Battle was born. With Cube's focus shifted from world domination to the championship belt, the Earth is finally safe! Or is it? I loved Kaiju Big Battle Vital Fantasy when it was first released, since it is an SNES-style JRPG based on a real-life parody wrestling league, where wrestlers dress up as kaiju and beat the crap out of each other. I have a fascination with kaiju stemming from Power Rangers and Godzilla to the more modern incarnations like Pacific Rim, so an RPG themed around this is wonderful. While I myself only came to know of the Wrestling League after the game came out and I'm not exactly familiar with the characters, I enjoyed the game nonetheless since it pushes all of those nostalgia buttons. One of the survival games that managed to capture that sense of isolation and real struggle is Subterrain, where you are stuck on Mars and must defend the entire underground city against the alien threat. The survival game meters are in play here with thirst, hunger, fatigue and more, where injuries like fractures play a part as well. Scavenge for resources, 
and build up your defenses since all manner of alien monstrosities will come after you and you have to defend your generator at all costs. While I don't have much love for the top-down perspective, the core survival and crafting systems are compelling enough in my opinion. Copy Kitty is an action platformer that feels similar to Mega Man, where you have the ability to combine up to 3 enemy abilities at a time into unique super weapons, and as such, there are 175 possible combinations, which is quite the large catalogue. As you platform and fight your way through 13 worlds and 20 bosses, this is a run and gun experience at its core with a simple concept but well executed and is of interest for your Mega Man fix. Evil forces awaken in the darkness. The world needs a team of heroes. But sometimes that team is just a bunch of noobs and jerks. And only one person can save them. Healer's Quest is a meta comedic RPG where you play as the healer, perhaps the most important party member of any fantasy RPG. In this, you have to stick behind your party of characters, comprising of a knight, a barbarian, a mage, and an archer, and heal and buff them as necessary, while they themselves continue to attack the enemies. The art style is very interesting, almost like a hand-painted watercolor look, similar to what you would find in a storybook, and that alone makes it quite memorable for me. However, even though you're only controlling the healer, there is an extensive RPG system here as well, as you can level up, upgrade your skills, and become more effective at healing and protecting the party. There's pretty good comedic writing, and I think this is one of the more overlooked gems on the store right now. This developer also has an upcoming project in Necro Story, which I presume will be similar to this but from the perspective of a necromancer instead, so another interesting title to keep an eye on. Orion Legacy of the Kori Odan is a distinctly African themed action platformer RPG from an indie developer in Cameroon, sporting a beautiful hand drawn art style, interesting colourful characters, and some awesome action and combat. Playing as a prince who is the victim of a coup on his wedding day by his own brother in law, you then have to travel through the kingdom finding allies, uniting the warring factions, and to take back the throne. One look at the trailer footage and if you're familiar, you can immediately see some elements of Battle Chef Brigade and Indivisible in this, in both the action combat as well as the number of characters. One wonderful thing about video games is that we are able to experience another person's culture through this medium, so to have an African developer creating this African theme game is pretty interesting to me. However, since the launch of this game in 2016, I'm not quite sure what this developer is working on, but they are hiring and are perhaps spinning up on new projects, so I'm very curious to see where this goes. One of the hidden gems of 2017 is Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. This is an open world action adventure RPG very similar to 2D Zelda's but is told through a storybook format of a grandfather recounting the tale to his grandchildren. The open world structure certainly is a throwback to the Zelda games where you can explore in any direction that you wish but of course there are 5 distinct dungeons as well. You have to obtain items like bombs, swords and bows in order to progress through the dungeons and puzzles so very very similar in structure 
but a very well-made one of these. Agalos is an underrated Metroidvania title, which certainly is a retro throwback, looking very much like Wonder Boy and harkening back to the 16-bit era in games. This is done through the combination of the art and music, with bright and cartoony enemy designs, fantastic sprites, and a good chiptune soundtrack. There are traversal ability unlocks as per Metroidvania tradition, non-linear exploration and backtracking, but there are also some light RPG elements like equipment upgrades. It feels good to chain attacks and combos together, and overall is just a pretty solid piece of work. I became a fan of developer Massive Damage due to Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander Lightspeed Edition. This is a strategy RPG that combines elements from many different games and genres into a package that is so, so fun. There are elements from JRPGs in turn-based Sidon Combat, Permadeath and loss of characters as per Darkest Dungeon, base building that is very similar to XCOM, diplomacy and faction alliance as per 4X games, control of resource producing planets and mines like Heroes of Might and Magic, and even bits of Pacific Rim in the alien threat popping out of nowhere in the galaxy. As such, I just love the variety of the various alien factions that you can encounter, the variety in the officers and crew that you can recruit, and even the designs of the aliens and the ships, which of course is held together by the Greek pixel art. For one of my favourite indie games to be discounted at 75%, it is a great deal, so pick it up and this takes the number one spot. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Check out the recommended playlist or the best pick for you and I will see you after the jump.